Hey, what's going on guys? Joseph Mills here with Autometer Garage, Project Evo. Folks, it all comes down to this. All the work that we've done so far on Project Evo, it comes to a head right here today. Folks, we're at Boostin Performance at Hoffman Estates, Illinois, and we're putting Project Evo up on their dyno, and we're gonna run through uh, tuning the vehicle and see if we can extract a little bit more power out of it. Now, it'll be interesting to see what uh, what comes of it we've got the Cobb tuning stage 4 package on here and the off-the-shelf map that we got from Cobb has been tremendous great power great drivability but uh, maybe there's a, a little more on the table for us so boost and performance is maybe not just Chicago lands but one of the nation's premier tuning shops uh, for the Mitsubishi platforms the Evos and a heck of a lot more I'm here with Cisco from boost and performance Cisco Thank you Not so much for having us out, man. Truly, truly stoked to be here. Uh, so for those uh, for those of us watching that don't know, tell yep. us a little bit about Boost and how long have you guys been been doing this? We've been doing this uh, for about six years. Okay, the company's been open for about six years. Everyone that works here in the company has been in the industry for a lot longer than that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we've built up quite a bit of a reputation. You know, with uh, with Boost and Performance. Uh, with the infamous Red Demon, uh, who has seen 746 at 201. <laughs> oh man, that's quick. Yeah, I mean, it, six years, it, it, it seems like you have done just a ton of work in that period of time. I mean, looking through the shop here, you see all these awards, all these amazing builds that have broken records, been featured in magazines. So I, as I was saying, like, you don't just do the Evos. I mean, you guys are, are known as the shop for Evos, Mitsubishis, but you do a heck of a lot more here as well. We do. We uh, work with Subaru. Uh, the WRX and STI platform, as well as uh, Nissan R35 GTR. We work on those as well. And you're not just dipping your toes in the GTR market. I, I saw you've got a, an Alpha Award Correct. over there for your GTR. Correct. Yes, sir. So for those of us that don't know, what, what does it take to get to get an Alpha Award? That's, I know that's a pretty exclusive club. It is an exclusive club, uh, and it takes about an 899 passing a quarter mile or faster with an Alpha Performance product. <laughs> That's super quick, man. That's super quick. So it's really, really cool stuff. Uh, and it's not just performance tuning here as well. I mean, you do a lot more than dyno tuning. We do it all from basic oil changes to full out race builds. I mean, we are your one-stop shop for all your, all your performance and maintenance needs as well. Awesome. Well, hopefully we are not needing uh, maintenance needs after our trip to the <laughs> dyno. Uh, otherwise, we may be having an engine rebuild on our 4B11 done here at Boost and Performance. So we're going to head back into the shop, hook the uh, vehicle up on the rollers and see what kind of power she makes. Guys, stick around. All right, guys, so we're back here in the shop at Boost and Performance, about ready to go on the dyno before we put the vehicle up there. And anytime you test a car like this, one of the key steps is to perform a boost leak test. So I've got Mike here from Boost and Performance who's gonna perform our boost leak test. Mike, what, is it, what does it entail? How do we do a boost leak test? Well, we start off by taking off the intake and we put our boost leak tester right on the turbocharger itself. We pressurize the intercooler pipe system and we try to find a leak, see what we can find. So we Usually, just gotta spray around, kinda listen and exactly. see what's in there? Yep. And knowing that I'm the guy that screwed most of this together, <laughs> what do you think? I bet Mike's probably gonna find something. So let's get down to the test and see what's going on with our boost chain. 17. And that's 25. So you may not be able to hear, we've got a tiny little leak that sounds to be coming from one of the vacuum lines down there. And, and now it's getting a little louder. Looks like we're all set here. Moment of truth here, boys. We're strapping her down onto the dyno. Let's hope she holds together. So guys, we are strapped in and ready to go here at Boost and Performance. And I gotta tell you, it is a real honor. I'm standing here with Devin Schultz, owner of Booster, Boost and Performance. Devin, thank you so much for having us out, man. No I cannot tell you how stoked we are 
to finally get this beast up on the dyno and see what kind of power we can make with it. It's great to have you guys. So you guys are you guys are a Cobb uh, are a Cobb authorized tuning shop here. I know there's a, a big process to go through uh, to get their certifications. Now you typically tune on the access port. Are there other platforms that you do as well? Yeah, with the access port, we do Evo 10, we do Subaru WRX, uh, Nissan GTR. We also do the Ford platform and BMW. Oh, awesome, awesome. So the, the, any, any, other, uh, any other tuning softwares you use here? Is that kind of your preference or? Um, I mean, when it comes to those five specific platforms that are as our preference is Cobb Access Port, mm -hmm. but um, we do everything from Haltech, Motec. Um, we do a lot of AEM standalone cars. I like um, that. I like that Infinity system. That's yeah, that's works a, great. It's a heck works of an great. engine management. I agree. Uh, so we're gonna set this up. Maybe maybe tell us a little bit about your tuning philosophy. I, I am not an expert on tuning this or really any vehicle, uh, and I'm always interested to learn more. And I know uh, the folks at home uh, definitely don't always get the opportunity to talk to someone like yourself about this. If you just tell us a little bit of how you tune cars here and, and what the process is. Sure. Uh, I mean, you guys saw it. The the um, foundation of a good tune is making sure that the car is mechanically correct. So that's something that we uh, pride ourselves on is doing very good boost leak tests and mechanical inspections. Um, a lot of customers come here and try and tell me, hey, I want this type of tune or that type of tune. And basically we tune the cars with one philosophy and that is we're not going to sacrifice any horsepower that it's going to make, but we're not going to leave it on the razor's edge of blowing up. So the customer can go home, beat on the car, be confident in it that it's not going to have any issues but still know that, hey, their buddy with the same setup is not gonna be pulling from them, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, well, I mean, you guys have just an absolutely sterling reputation. I was actually amazed, Cisco was telling us that you, you guys have been doing this as your own facility for only six years, and, and it, it seems like you've been doing this a lot longer just because I'm constantly seeing uh, boosted performance in the news, breaking a new record, a new car. I mean, it's, it's really just spectacular, the Thank stuff you. that you've been able to do in, in a relatively short period of time. Yeah, a lot of people when they come here, they expect to see a uh, expect to see like a team of twenty people running around the shop. But you know, we're a very small, family-oriented shop, and um, we work hard. So. Well, you can and you can control quality when it's when it's you and a couple very close, trusted guys. You're able to lay your hands on everything, and you know that everything that comes out of the door with your name on it is going to be absolutely perfect. I would agree with that. Yeah, you know, we've got a very strict quality control process. And if we get too much stuff happening at once, you know, uh, things tend to slide through the cracks. And that's one of our main philosophies here is, you know, uh, everything gets double checked, everything gets gone over. Even no matter how good a mechanic is, they can always make a mistake. So we have that procedure in place to even when the, there is a mistake, we catch it before mm. the customer ever sees it or ever knows about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Well, the, the reputation speaks for itself. And again, we're so excited to be here. We can't thank you enough for having us. So uh, without further ado, I think it's about time we warm this thing up uh, and start spinning these rollers. So baseline pulls on the boost in performance Mustang dyno. Uh, now I will say, looking at it initially, the, these dynos have a reputation as being a bit of a heartbreaker. I gotta tell you, my heart's a little broken right now. So uh, nice, safe tune, very rich. You guys saw the, the pop. I'm basically rolling coal at this point. Devin, tell us what we're, what we're looking at. How, how do we do on our baseline pull? You've got a diesel Evo 10 on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> High compression. <laughs> So basically, uh, the, they're nice and safe, but um, it's a little bit conservative as far as the boost curve is concerned, and we're losing a little bit of torque with that. Mm -hmm. um, this green line represents the air fuel curve, and as you can see, it's not completely consistent across the power band, so it's a little lean at peak torque, and it's actually pretty good at, at the uh, top end. Okay. So. so we've got some opportunities for improvement, to say oh, yeah, the least. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Cool. Well. We're gonna get back at testing here and uh, see what, uh, what Devin can tweak out of our uh, Evo here. So uh, let's get back to it. Oh, 
Ok So that was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you for letting us watch all this. I mean, we went from a uh, Power Stroke towing package Evo uh, to something actually making a little bit of power. So you were telling me before, on a, on a stock Evo 10 on this dyno makes about what? Um, depending on the mileage and the condition of the car, about 200 to 220 wheel horsepower. So that's, that's a heartbreaking number right there. Now we came in and we started our first run we saw what 308 horsepower on here uh and even lower torque so we've got uh 285 foot pounds of torque which is still significantly better than stock with Absolutely. a with a totally safe off the shelf map now you were able to work a little magic on this particular vehicle. Absolutely. So there is some room left, you know, with, with the Cobb off the shelf map. It is made for every car with those mods. So mm. the fact that we can customize the tuning package specifically for your vehicle and the specific mods that you have, that's where we're able to gain the extra. So uh, we talked a little about the air fuel curve. We were able to kind of straighten that out and make it more consistent across the power band. So in total, we picked up uh, off the cob uh, base map, we were able to gain about 50 horsepower and 30 foot-pounds of torque. It's absolutely incredible. You are a genius, my friend, and I thank you so that. very much. So uh, from a baseline of about 200 to 220 stock, now we're seeing 350 horsepower, all on stuff we were able to bolt on to the vehicle. So uh, truly impressive. Uh, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Big thanks to Devin and the whole Boost and Performance team. Uh, this is Joseph Mills with Autometer Garage, and we'll see you next time.